Right, what I want to show you now is uh, just a short video. Before we reassemble the main shaft with all the components and gears etc, what I want to show you is how we measure the end float on the main shaft for the, um, for the gears. Uh, so it's important that you do this to make sure that everything's as it should be. So we need to assemble, we don't need to assemble all the gears, but what we need to do is assemble the basics of the gears. So first of all we put the thrust washer on. Then not mixing the not mixing the bushings up, we take the bush from out of the from out of the second gear um, um, synchro hub and place that onto the main shaft. Then we use our thrust thrust washer. These are selective thrust washers. I've got several of these thrust washers at various thicknesses. I think this one's uh, four four mil. Uh, so this is um, uh, another one. Uh, and this is the this is the um, this is the thrust washer that was on the main shaft. So we'll put the then we'll put the thrust washer on. Then uh, again, without mixing the bushings up, we use the uh, the bushing out of the first gear uh, and put that on, like so. These all these components are going to get cleaned up, obviously, before we start. Uh, and then we also put. Remember, we had the difficulty taking the circlip off. Uh, off this off this main shaft. So then we put the the castellated nut on, and in when it's all been assembled, obviously the gears will be on all the main shaft. But the, we don't need to put the gears on now because all we're doing is is, is is checking out the end float. We then need to put on the um, we then need to put on the circlip. So obviously, I'll just pause the video while we put this circlip on, and then I'll come back to you. Right now, um, we've got the circlip back on the end. Uh, we know it was difficult to get off, by, you know, but we, we've got it off, but we have to put it back on again. Now, to check the end float, what we need to do is to, is to just make sure that everything's turning as it would be if it was on the, on the vehicle. And then we need to, I've already checked the end float on here. Uh, it's between two, uh, 0 .0, 0 0.0.2 and 0, 0 0.6 is the end float. Now I've already checked this and I know that the two won't go in, uh, the, the two will go in, the four won't go in, but the, the 0 0.3 will go in. And we just, we just put the, we just put the feeler gauges in, in this, um, between this thrust washer here, doesn't matter which side you use. And as long as you can get the feeler gauges and it's within tolerance. If the gap was, for example, let's say if the gap was, um, 0 0.6 and 0, 0 0.6 so it would be at the maximum we would then we would then remove this thrust washer and select a select a thrust washer of the correct the correct um, thickness and then that would bring this back into tolerance but th this particular thrust washer that's on here uh, it's already um, within tolerance um, I can't get the four in I can get the two in the three goes in but it's quite tight so we're well within tolerance here uh, and so we can dismantle this again now and then we can reassemble our main shaft with all the gears um, we've got this lined up already these will be cleaned and um, prepped up ready for installing the main shaft uh, or installing on the main shaft and that will be on my next short video so i hope you're you're learning these 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 little videos are for amateur builders i'm not a professional i don't profess to be a professional I'm just trying to explain things a little bit easier to guys who um, don't know very much about it and who think they want to tackle these jobs themselves. So when it says check the end float, it's not a big job. It's not it's not something overly complicated. So you just need to, to reassemble it without the gears uh, uh, and the bushings will suffice. Um, and that's why we need to get the circlip on and off at the end here. So I hope you've enjoyed this little video. Um, if you like it and just give us a thumbs up it just gives me a bit of encouragement and if you if you're new to the channel i hope you find something interesting thank you